one and all, welcome to a Galaxy Man Show interview show. Uh, so for my very last guest of this week is this incredible actor known by the name of Trevor Berry, uh, who's going to be playing the Dark Knight, uh, Bruce Wayne, uh, the Batman, uh, in uh, this incredible Barbara fan film series coming very soon. Uh, so I'm about to add Trevor into the live now to have a chat with Trevor about his role as the Batman. So yeah, let's add Trevor in and here we go. What's going on, man? Hey, Trevor. Nothing much. Hey. Thank you so much uh, for taking the time to come onto my show. It's such a pleasure having you on, Trevor. Uh, Thank you. You're very welcome. So, to people that don't know who you are, Trevor, if you give a bit, bit of backstory about who you are and what you do, and then we'll dive right into it. Yeah, I'm an actor. I'm a musician. Uh, currently a producer on Was on Nightmare, and I am also on Barbara. Awesome. So, we'll dive right into the very first question now, Trevor. So, with my very first question, so you're going to be playing the incredible role of the Dark Knight, the Batman, Bruce Wayne. What has the whole experience been like for you, getting to portray this incredible character? Oh, man, it's so much fun. Uh, you know, going from cameo in Death of Robin to... to you know, full-on actualized role in Nightmare to... You know, now I'm going to be in Barbara. A lot of fun, a uh, lot of prep that goes into it, but man, it's, it's a hell of a lot of fun to be in. Awesome. So I'm talking about your next question. So when you got first got casted in the role of Batman, what were like your emotions feeling at the very time you got casted? So with the first one, uh, I'd seen Brian posted, a, it was, I think he was looking for a location or something. Uh, looking for a warehouse for Death of Robin. He posted it in a local filmmaking hub. I just reached out and said, you know, if you ever need you know, a Batman, I've got a suit. Uh, you know, I'm in the area. It'd be a lot of fun to, to join up. And then he's like, yeah, let's, you know, let's see what we can do. Maybe I don't really have Batman involved. It kind of grew into something else. And then he invited me along. Uh, so in that one, it wasn't more like cast. It was just, you know, let, let's collaborate, see what we can do. And then when he came around for Nightmare, it was more of more of a process. And to go from, you know, cameo in the first one, where, you know, when it's a cameo like that, there's not a guarantee that, you know, you're going to be the guy in the next one. Because, you know, it's, it's the guy in the suit. You don't really see that it's me. And so to go into the next one knowing, yeah, it's, it's going to be me, man, that was, that was pretty exciting. So I'll have a very next question. So how can people relate to your Batman version? Uh, and yeah, uh, what makes your Batman different from other actors that have portrayed Batman before? Sure. Uh, I think it's more of a human experience in this next one. Uh, you know, there have been a lot of Batman out there, a lot of great ones and also great ones. Uh, the story that we're telling, I think, is it's more grounded in, you know, human emotion. The Nightmare was very, very driven by you know, Bruce's haunting. In this one, he's more at the peak of, you know, at the team and being a mentor. So I think it's going to be cool for the audience to see more of that, kind of that solidification of Batman, where he's, he's not just solo anymore, he's been at it for X amount of years, and he's got his team built, and I think that's going to be the big thing that sets this Batman apart from others. So I'll have a very next question. So what makes Barbara Barbara, basically? So what? why should people watch Barbara when it gets released? It's, you know, on that same note as the last one, uh, it's not just a cool fan film. You know, there's a lot of those out there where it's a lot of action. That's awesome. I love that. But this is more, it's a really deep emotional story that we're trying to tell. And Leanne is fantastic. So, I mean, to have the vehicle for that through her, is, it's, it's going to be something really special. So it's going to be set apart, I think, from other fan films in that there's a heart to the story. It's going to be cool action, you know, Bunch of great stuff in it, but I think that's going to what set he what sets it apart from other fan films. Awesome. 
So on her very next question, so if your Batman could have like any outstanding moment for your mm. version of the Batman, what memorable moment would you want for your Batman and why? I would love to team up with the Justice League. That would be, for me, just as a fan, that would be probably the coolest thing is to you know, growing up with like Batman, the animated series, like the Justice League animated shows. They were, those were about the best of the best. So if I could ever have anything, I think it would be to have, you know, a Justice League that I join up with. That's, that's cool. <laughs> so on to the very next question. So who would be your all-time favorite DC hero of all time and why? Oh, oh man. No, no question. It's just Batman. <laughs> Sweet. No other comparisons. Yeah. So, on to her next question. So, who would be your all-time favorite DC villain and why? Man, that's a tough one. Uh, I love Scarecrow. I think that's probably Batman's most... I think he could really give Batman a run for his money. Uh, you know, a lot of the other characters come up as like a physical threat. That's a psychological threat that, you know, everything about Bruce is built out of fear and, you know, drama. And I don't think there's a better villain that can really put him to the test than the Scarecrow. So on my very next question, so if your Batman could team up with any, like, DC hero, who would it be and why? I think I'd want to team up with Superman. Uh, they're usually kind of set up to be kind of frenemies. I think it would be really cool to have that bond shown in a film. Awesome. So on her very next question, so who inspired you as a person to get into acting in the first place? Mm. It... I think for me, it wasn't so much an actor as it was just the art of filmmaking. You know, there's a lot of directors that I've really taken to. I love Tim Burton, uh, Christopher Nolan, and just seeing these people tell these huge stories and getting lost in them. So I think that's kind of what drew me to acting, was that I wanted to be involved with something that's impressive. So on my very next question, so... What have you learned about yourself as a person, like especially during COVID? Was it been mm. such a hard time yeah. for actors and artists? Uh, yeah, what has been the most challenging for you? I would say I, I'm trying to learn to not be so hard on myself, especially in these times where everything's a bit more slowed down. Uh, learning to take a step back and be okay with that. Uh, I mean, everything, I don't know how it is over there, but still a big level of things being shut down here it's being patient but also not being so difficult on myself all the time so on the very next question so if you could be in any tv or movie franchise what would it be and why the mandalorian i love star wars i think that show is fantastic uh, john favreau and dave filoni have made like, such a really deep layered universe that that would be hands down. If that was ever a possibility, I would jump at it. Sweet. So another very next question. So what are like the positives and negatives into the whole acting industry and how do you mm. get through those negatives as a person? Positives. Uh, you get to be in really cool projects like you know, what we're doing with the Batman series. Uh, being just fully involved in that is a, a lot of fun. Being on set is great. Negatives, they're always going to be quite a few negatives it's mainly the rejection of trying to break out of your comfort zone and you know, even it used to be going to a physical audition now it's you know, it's self-taped auditions at home but still putting you know a, an aspect of yourself out there knowing that there's like a 99 percent chance that it's going to be a no that's for me been probably the most difficult thing is just learning that it's okay that it's a no not a no because it's not really about 
you. It's just that you are not for that character. So I heard your last question, Trevor. So what's like next for you for the rest of 2021, like project wise that you would like to announce on the Man, it's, it's big time. It is Barbara. You know, I'm Batman in it, but I'm also producing, trying to help Brian put together a lot of stuff behind the scenes. So that's really my big creative endeavor for the year is trying to get that funded, trying to get us all situated so we can make this project you know, a reality. So that would be my biggest thing, I think, would be to say, check out the Indiegogo. Uh, even if it's just you know, five bucks or something, it still helps us make this project real. Awesome. Well, can I just say thank you so much, Trevor, for taking the mm -hmm. time to come onto my show. It's been such a pleasure having a chat with you and having you on my show. Uh, so do you have like any last final thoughts that you'd like to say to people on the show? Rounding back to it, I mean, B Squared, just check out B Squared on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Vero, and just spam the like button share it with all your friends just that's really my big focus you know creatively is just that these are stories we really want to tell and can't do it without the audience support riddle me this riddle me that what is the beginning of eternity the end of time and space the beginning of every end in the end of every race. Riddle me this. Riddle me that. How do you torment a bat? What question can you not answer yes to? Are you dead? <laughs> Courage and justice. I thought this mask made me a hero. That the fight was out there. There are many ways to prove a point. There's more to me than a girl in a mask. I just haven't found her yet. It's my turn to step out of the shadows as a symbol of redemption. Sometimes the monster is inside of us. Or our downfall. No one will keep me down. Not without a fight. I see you.